Hey kids, in this episode we're just outside of Lockport, New York. I stopped at the Widewater Marina and Jim there, great guy, helped me get the parts necessary so I can get my water pump fixed and back on the road. Alright kids, so here's our first, uh, well, let me see if I can do this around. Hey, alright, so we got our first real major drama issue on the boat. And um, it's not anything surprising. It was something I kind of expected that was going to be going on. But let me uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. When uh, we bought the boat, we went ahead and opened up the uh, uh, water pump area, took it apart, and looked at it and tried to uh, to uh, uh, get it freed up because it seemed like it was a little seized. And there's a couple little sleeve bearings that the shaft goes through before it enters into the area where the water pump is. And they were they were froze up, but we, we worked them and got them loosened up and we got the pipe working. So what's happened now is that those bearings have seized, or not seized, but see if I can get this aimed right. You see that bearing right there? That one right behind the pulley. See if I can get the light set up here, okay. Right here, this this bearing here, you see it's moving there. That wiggles, that shaft wiggles to there. So the bearing going through this part here, this piece here, this has gotten where it's, uh, whoop, hold on. I get swirl work, there you go. Anyhow, this piece here has gotten where the bearing is shot, and so now we're dripping water. You can see there's a little slight water drip coming out from that right now. And that's where our problem is. We got to get those bearings replaced. Now, in the overall scheme of things, this really isn't that big of a of a major battle. It's just I got to get the part out and get it to a machine shop and have new sleeves, new bearings pressed in there. So, trying to find the original OEM parts are going to be pretty much non-existent. It's just going to be a matter of just finding some bearings, and you know, any local machine shop should be able to source them and put them in. How long I'm going to be delayed waiting on them? I have no idea. Fortunately, I don't have to be anywhere. So, anyhow, I'll uh, have more for you later. What I'm going to do is there's a marina right down the road here. Uh, I'm going to go wide water. I think it's called Wide Water Marina. I'm going to it's about a mile. So I'm going to go ahead and open the valve. It's going to drip a little bit, but that's all right. I'll uh, go ahead and motor on down to that marina and pull in there. He seems to have a line on the shop that could fix that for me. So now it's just a matter of getting that fixed and getting back on the road. I got the water pump off. This is it here. And I've uh, checked. And the impeller is actually in pretty good shape. The impeller looks to be like it's brand new. So I just got to finish taking these two parts pieces here apart. And I'll take this fitting over to the shop and have them work on it. So just uh, taking these bolts out one at a time. And i got to get... Got to get a wrench on this side now so I can take that apart. And I was able to take this apart. And there you can see those are my bearings right there. <laughs> now, surprisingly, the impeller is almost like brand new shape. It doesn't look like there's any wear on the impeller at all. But these bearings were certainly burnt out through the pump. So I found a machine shop here in town. The guy here has this uh, little marina... Uh, burger joint stand whatever he's going to uh, run me over to the shop and uh, nice enough and drive me over there and we'll drop off these parts and see if they can't get uh, some new bearings and press them in there and get it all back together again so well, the guys at uh, Widewater have been absolutely awesome to me not only did they give me a free place to dock my boat but these guys have been really taking good care of me it's a great place for kids eating ice cream. Here's Jim and I playing with the drone. We had a lot of fun with it while we were waiting for my parts to be repaired. Here I'm sending the drone out over one of the tour bus uh, boats going up and down the canal. We had a lot of fun chasing the, uh, chasing the canal boats as they were going up and down the canal. And we were uh, harassing Jim's friends on the dock. Here you can see the drone chasing one of his friends. Just barely missed him. Whoosh. <laughs> Pretty much just terrorizing anybody there around the restaurant or the marina. It was a lot of fun playing with the drone that day. Now, Widewaters is open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'm going to make a video about them, but this place has got some awesome, typical American food. Uh, hot dogs and hamburgers and curly fries. So what's, up, what's the special for today? 
<laughs> so today the special is meatballs in a cup. Okay. It, it's our first day doing it, and you get eight mini meatballs and sauce. Nice. In a cup. Nice. And what's your big seller? What do you normally sell a lot of? We sell a lot of Coney Island hot dogs and cur fresh cut curly fries. Fresh cut curly fries. Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, leave wide water here for a moment. Get back to the boat repair. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm attaching this housing to this housing. Got these two bolts started in here. Just torquing them down now. A little bit on one side, a little bit on the other side. You want to torque them down nice and even. It's kind of like putting on a tire. You want to make sure you're balanced all the way around. All right, so that is now together. That shaft's turning freely. Not super freely, but freely. The next thing we're going to do is uh, install the impeller. And that should just be a matter of twist and in. There we go. Come on. little rubber nubbies are all in the right alignment. <clears throat> Give that just a little assist in there. <clears throat> Alright, now we've got a gasket that we salvaged. Looks all right, not perfect. Goes on like that. But what I want to do is I want to mount this plate up against that. This is the cover plate. It's got just a wee little bit of something on here. So I need to find my sandpaper or something and scrub that. I got this 180 grit sanding sponge. That'll be fine for that. Let's give that a little buff. Give that a little buff on there. There we go. See how that polishes up the brass and takes down all the high spots. That's what we want to see. No, we don't want to take off too much. All right. I think we're. I think that's enough. I don't want to take off any more than that. But we kind of cleaned that up a little bit. So okay. And now this plate, this gasket's got to go on there. Hey, what? Let me just do that. Match the gasket to the plate. Get one of the screws. It's got to match up right there. Got to kind of align it. You can actually see in the gasket inside here. Let me show you this real quick. Inside here, there's a little lip inside there. You can just barely make it out. That's what folds back the little uh, rubber feet. So you got to make sure the gasket is properly aligned so that it's got that built up area located where it's supposed to be. Get that screw started, there we go. There's six of these little screws. Very important when you're doing this kind of work that you stay very organized. I got all the parts that, uh, that came out of the engine all here on a paper plate where I can see them all, inventory them all, make sure they're all there, make sure they're all clean, ready to go back together. So normally when I want to change an impeller, all I should normally ever have to take off is these screws to access this. Problem is the way this is located on this boat, this is back on the back side of the engine where you can't get to it. 
little bit of a design flaw if you ask me. So, and again, just like putting nuts on a lug on a tire, you want to go opposites, kind of snug them down. Don't torque anything yet. Get them all snug down. Now we can tighten down. A little torque on that one. Opposite, torque that one. Torque that one. Make sure you get your screwdriver in there good and tight so you don't strip the screws out. Okay, got all that together. Now, the next part I got to attach is this valve mechanism that goes on there. <clears throat> and on this, um, we're just going to use a little pipe joint dope, but we're going to clean that up a little bit first. Remove some of the excess pipe joint dope that was on there. At some point, somebody used some threaded material from fibrous uh, wrap on there, and there's still some evidence of that on here. So as I'm brushing, you notice I'm taking off these little fibers. Those help seal the threads. That's old school plumbing. Nothing wrong with that, works very well. Now that's gonna hold together, but what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little pipe joint compound on there. Just a little dab will do ya. Go grab some paper towel. Now I just take my finger and smear that around that, wiping the excess off my finger. Now we'll thread that into here, and then we'll wipe the excess off the joint. I'm not exactly sure how that needs to align just yet. I won't know that until I get this in here. So now clean up the excess joint compound. That'll stop that from leaking. <clears throat> and there we go, that's how this connects. So I just gotta remember what plumbing went where. This goes on that way. Uh, this is the water line connecting and this is the water line going up to there. Okay, got it. Well, I'm finishing up the repairs. Here's the Lily 2 at the dock. She's all finished and ready to go. We got the pump installed. Everything worked fine. So I'm going to start heading on down the Erie Canal the next morning and uh, continue on with the story. So I hope you guys will follow along. Please do like and subscribe and we'll have more information for you coming in the next video. Guys, you all take good care of one another and we'll see you downstream.